Hey guys, Berman here, and I'm going to teach you how to do the optic compensation effect. And I have a preview loaded right here. I was messing with Vegas last night, and I found a really clean and easy way to do it. So I'll just show you it right now. That right there, this, um, basically bending the screen and zooming in. I'm not going to show you the flash on how to do that. Um, that will be for a different tutorial. But um, that's basically what we're looking at on how to do today. And you can do it with a Matchable Looks uh, V2 lens correction just by dragging on one of these. You know, you don't want to make it like that, obviously, but about like that. That's what I did to make it easily um, ease back into the normal screening. But let's say um, the way I like to do the optic compensation is not really start it right when the shot is just a bit after so I'm gonna put a marker here because I want to start it here delete the audio save your sample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and I'm gonna split the clip just for easy keyframing and then go forward a bit and end it about there and um, one way that you can do the effect is with magic ball looks 2.0 so I'll show you that now. You're going to need uh, in the lens tab lens distortion and then you can use these circles to bend it back and it looks pretty smooth but I don't really like it that much using a magical looks for it. I'd rather use a plugin that's uh, much better with keyframing. So I'm just going to use uh, Funhouse and I'm going to find, you know, about right there, you know, right before the circle begins. One second. Sorry about that. I had to clear my throat. But uh, about right there is when I don't want to start it. And then with pan and crop, what I like to do is uh, about a quarter in, zoom in about like that. And then let it sit so I'm just gonna kinda bump it one so it creates a new keyframe and then the rest restore it and then when it's being restored that's when you're gonna want to fix the opti optic compensation so if we go to animate so hold on let me actually sync this up right so right there is when we need to start dimming down the optic compensation and it's already there with the auto sync so now we can just um, move this you know point one so it creates a keyframe and then move it back if you really want it to be exactly the same and then we can just fast forward to the end oh hold on created two keyframes and then um, we can just fast forward to the end where we want the effect to stop and make that zero and make that zero and then you'll see oh whoops hold on I need to set my dynamic frame preview up so I can hit frame render but there's the optic compensation and sorry about the random black flashes my Vegas has been doing this a lot I don't really know why it's been making editing kind of a pain I've noticed if I switch to 8-bit, it seems to work sometimes, but it's been pretty messed up lately. I'm going to have to try and find a fix for it, but you can see that's how it looks. And it looks really good when you do a flash, and it looks very smooth, too. So, that's my uh, tutorial on it. If you guys could leave a like, that'd be great. And uh, I'll keep making videos. Peace.